Hi, Eastgate Builders. We're going to do some hub motor tests. The community of electric skateboard builders over the last few years have been developing hub motors. So today we've got two hub motors to test. One made by Jacob Bloy and one made by Hummy. And, ah, oh, I forgot to mention, we've got a visitor from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, this is Caden. He's also a member of the electric skateboard community. Let's go and see what he's doing. What have you got here, mate? The purple one here is the yeah. Hummy hub motor and the black one is the Jacob hub motor. So we're gonna do the usual test. We're gonna go to the local hill and do an uphill acceleration kind of test to see if one, if it gets to the top. We're gonna check the temperature when it gets to the top. Uh, then we're gonna head to the velodrome and we're going to do some acceleration tests, speed tests, lap times. Okay, so the first run, I've got Jacob's hub motors on here, dual hub motors. Um, I'm gonna do a run up this hill and come back to the halfway point and I'm gonna measure the temperature. Then I'm gonna do a second run where I go halfway up, come off the control throttle, let it slow, then come back on the throttle and we'll see how we go. So we're going from a standing start here. Okay, am I in the shot? Yeah, you might have bring it up a little bit closer. Oh, it's just the one without. Uh, it's working out. Okay, so 28.1 degrees inside the actual motor on the windings. Outside temp. 27.2 degrees Celsius. I'm getting the inside bearing temperature. 25 degrees, so that's not really that hot. That's just one run up the hill. Um, I can clearly touch that. So that is not hot whatsoever. Now, next test, the, the store. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna stop halfway, come off the throttle and then put the throttle back on. Brake needs to be sorted out. Is this still recording? Yeah. Okay. 35 degrees now, so it's gone up about 10 degrees Celsius. It's hard to get inside the... 
39 degrees Celsius inside the actual motor on the windings. Am I in the shot? Yep, you're good. The bearing is 31 degrees. So that after the second run, temperature has gone up about 10 degrees, I would say, on average. Um, it did seem to work coming off the throttle. Halfway, I was able to continue. Okay, now I've got Hummies hub motors. Dual drive, same settings as Jacobs, same exact test. We're gonna go up to the top of the hill, starting from a, a, a stationary position. Then I'm gonna temperature measure, and then I'm gonna do another run and see how it goes from a store. Just flip the switch forward, yeah. In shot? Yeah, you're in shot. Oh, I can't even see the wires. It's 30 degrees on the outside. Okay, outside temp. 29. 29. I can't see. The windings are, are covered in the blue enamel, so if you just go into the blue through the holes in the motor. Yeah, it's not a fair test though, because I got it on the I'll just I'll get magnet temperature. Magnets are only 20 degrees. Core is about 29 degrees. This bearing, bearing is about 31 degrees. You're probably going through the winding hole right here. Yeah, I can't, I can't get a clear shot to the the windings, guys, because there's some blue epoxy. I'll just get a measurement of the blue epoxy. Okay, 30 degrees. So everything seems to be about 30 degrees. So we'll do the we'll do the stall start and see how we go. Hi, we all good? I can smell something. Okay, outside temp, 59, 60, 56 degrees Celsius. Uh, we get the core, am I in shot? In shot? Yeah, you're good. 46 degrees for the aluminium uh, central nut bearing. Bearings at 65 degrees Celsius. That's that's burning. Camera. Ah. Ah. Yeah. That's skin burning temperature. Um. Do you want to touch that on camera? No. Just touch it quickly. See how long you can hold your finger on it. On on the middle bit. Yeah. Yeah. Is that hot? Yeah. Okay. Let's go, we're, we're on the blue epoxy. 67 degrees Celsius on the blue epoxy. It sort of smells like the grease inside the bearings or something like that.
Okay guys, we're at the velodrome and we're gonna test a few things here. We're gonna do some sprints. We're gonna start from that marker and go to that marker. So from a dead stop, accelerate as hard as possible, and then I'm gonna measure how long it took in seconds to go between each point. Then we're gonna do full lap of the velodrome and we can get things like the top speed that we reach and obviously the lap times and stuff like that. We're also gonna get temperature readings on the hub motor. So the first ones we've got on here are the hubby hum motors. Hubby, hubby, <laughs> hummy hub motors. So let's check it out. Okay, we've just done five sprints. Let's get some temperatures. Thirty-five degrees in the center. Only twenty-one on the outside, so I mean that that's not too bad. Wait, hold on. Forty-two forty-five. Okay, the, te the core temperature's going up. Try the other one too, I guess. See if you can get a shot on that as yeah. well. Okay, core is 47. It's jumping around. <laughs> 40 now. Okay, that one's sort of jumping up to 44, down to 40. Outside edge, outside, that's cold. I mean, that's not hot at all, 22 degrees. Uh, let's get inside measurement. Fifty-five. Forty-one degrees Celsius. So fifty-five is the hottest temp, and that's on the inside of this wheel, which is my heel side. I mean, when I'm standing on it this way, all the the weight is probably on that back wheel. So I can assume that that wheel has to do a bit more work. Before. 56 inside whoa okay so this inside here is where our heat is we've got 74 degrees on this inside so the outside's staying much cooler on these hub motors okay let's try jacob's hub motors okay okay so we're just putting jacob's hub motors on here now feed through the wires There's no traction at all. Okay, right in the middle, we've only got 32 degrees. Just on the edge, 33 degrees. Far edge, only 19. So that's not even hot. Not even hot at all. Okay, this side, we'll look at the bearing. Can't read that screen. Okay, we've got 30 degrees on the bearing, 25 on the outside edge. Okay, let's do another five runs.
Okay, right in the centre. 41. Just on the outside edge of the centre. 44. On the far outside edge, only 27. So, not burning to the skin yet. Bearing. Bearing. Only 34 on that one. 38 degrees on the outside edge. Let's check the bearing on this one. Only 40 degrees there. Okay. So, just off, off these temps, you can clearly see that these motors are running much cooler, which generally means there's more torque in there. They're not getting as much load on them. They're not drawing as much current.